the light. All right, recording. All right, viewers, today is day three of AstroCon, and we have the big announcement by Mark on that now it's official. Skype and Astris. So now you can get Skype to the Astris, to a channel driver. So here we are with Mark and Will from uh, Mark from Digim and Will from Skype. So Mark, what do you think? Can you tell the viewers about the announcement? Well, uh, the announcement of this collaboration is yep. certainly one of the, almost certainly the biggest announcement that we've uh, been able to make here at uh, AstroCon. And it's such a huge step because you're connecting so many tens of millions of Astrisk users now with the hundreds of millions of Skype users worldwide. And um, even though it, at some level it's just another channel driver, uh, the reality is that it's going to make it so much easier for people to be able to get uh, calls into and out of Asterisk and to be able to hook up remote agents and all kinds of uh, other stuff with the same reliability that uh, people have come to expect from both Asterisk and from Skype. It's very exciting. So, Will, I'm, I'm very excited personally because I am my, our, our company, VoiceRoute, we do an open source based GUI and we want to add support for now Asterisk and Skype together. So, maybe you can tell us who initiated this? Well, uh, like Mark said in his keynote, already in the, back in 2005, uh, Mark really was interested in, in Skype. So, uh, this, the, the, this uh, discussions have been going, going on for uh, quite some time and finally we're able to announce this, this part or this collaboration. Sounds good. So if I'm a Asterisk user or a Skype user for the enterprise, how do I get access to this? How do I sign up? How do I, who do I go? You can uh, sign up for the beta if you go to astrocon.net slash Skype. We have a limited beta that we're going to be doing initially. Um, so people can sign up there and then some of those people will get to participate in the beta program. So how much does this cost? What's the licensing? What's the pricing? How, can you review any of that? Well, pricing is yet to be determined uh, and uh, announced. Uh, and we will be allowed for, for general availability. Uh, right now, what we're trying to do is just to get the feedback from the beta program and, and the developers and the community to, to make this a great product. And we need, of course, the, the, the contribution from the resellers and the whole ecosystem to make this, to make this work. But it's going to be on a, on a per-channel basis, meaning, uh, meaning concurrent calls. Uh, you can actually be logged in with, let's say, 100, Euro, 100 users, but you only uh, need to buy 10 licenses for 10 concurrent calls, for example. So will it be prepaid and all these things? These will be sorted out. When do you guys expect to have a formal like announcement, like you know, production? Because I understand this is beta, right? right. Yeah, we have not made any announcement on the general availability yet. Okay. Any rough dates next year? End of. Um, any dates? I don't think I can make any announcement okay. Uh, okay. on that, so I'm I'm probably better better not. But, okay. Uh, but the beta um, I mean, what's, be what's important is that we come up with a product that, that, is, that is working and is, is, uh, will delight the user from, a, from, a, from that perspective. So time is not that important, uh, rather the, we need a product that, that, is, that is complete. Sounds good. So, yeah, I'm excited because I want to add support for my project, you know, with you guys. So, and Astris, of course, we are based on Astris. So maybe you can show a quick demo. So Naveen, maybe you want to come in and show, uh, so what, what do we have here? Well, right now what we've got is a Skype client. Uh, Ma Where's David? We need David to log okay. in. We need a, it's, it's going into sleep mode. Okay. We, we'll, we'll wait. Okay. We'll wait. Oh, David. David, you need to log in. Yeah, sure. Log in okay. to make a demo. Naveen, can okay. you position yourself properly for the demo? No, yeah, Naveen, he needs to what get What we have camera. right here is we have Skype running on this uh, Mac, and then we have the Astros console showing here as well. Um, so uh, David yes. can go ahead and, and uh, dial the phone. From within Skype. Call into Cool. And then we can dial a DTMF digit. And now we're ringing. Oh, going to ring the phone. The phone? The and there we are. The There's the audio coming uh, out of the speaker down there and up here. So there it is. Okay. So now it's official. We have a Skype call <laughs> from Astris to Skype. And back. So, Mark, one more thing. When is what, what do we really have in this private beta? Can you tell us about what features are there and what are we looking forward to? Uh, mainly, uh, the, the private beta will at least have uh, inbound and outbound calling plus uh, uh, your basic presence stuff that you would uh, expect to see. Oh, so I can get presence state of the Skype client or even the... Presence state uh, available there, okay. right, for, to be able to set and retrieve your, your presence state. So everybody always says, how about I am and video? When are we, you know, uh, having that? D don't have dates for that okay. necessarily. So It's coming. 
but yeah, we have we plan to support uh, uh, both of them eventually. Probably I am before video. Sounds good. So, uh, Will, have anything to add? No, I'm just very happy that, that we're able to, to announce this today because now uh, Skype, businesses will actually be able to use Skype on a business level uh, rather than calls professionally, both incoming and outgoing calls. I'm very, very happy with this announcement. So, viewers, there you have it. Big announcement. It's been official Skype and Asterisk. So, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you, Will. Thank you.